So here's your uh, mini podcast on how to set up for your uh, pinhole photography. We're going to use a tripod. We need to use the tripod because we've got long exposures. Otherwise, we're going to have camera shake. So to get the tripod set up level fairly quickly, just let one leg down if you like. Okay, and that'll give you a quick height for all of the others to make sure. If you can get all three legs at the same height right off the bat, your tripod will be pretty level to begin with. Spread the legs fully apart because that's going to make the tripod most stable. Don't leave the legs half collapsed or leave the tripod on an angle. Keep it nice and flat. This tripod has a ball head on top, so I can release this lever here to loosen up the head. Okay. Adjust it in any position. It also has a quick release plate. So this plate attaches to the bottom of the camera. This is how you're going to attach the camera to the tripod. So I'm going to loosen up the plate. It has a little safety lock. And the plate goes on the bottom of the camera, right under the tripod. There. Make sure that you have a fresh battery inside the camera, that the battery is uh, charged. Because once you've got this plate on the bottom, you can't change the battery. Okay. I'll check here too that I've got a memory card. I do have an SD card already. And now I can attach the camera to the tripod. Okay, and that'll be harder to see. Let me loosen this off. So we're going to seat the plate in the top of the tripod here and push it down until we hear a click. And that click was the, uh, was the release mechanism engaging. So now the tripod is securely attached to the camera. The uh, ball head again can be loosened and there is a little bubble level on the top. You'd have to uh, see it close on your own later, but you can use that bubble level to help make sure that the tripod and the camera is in fact level. Now, for the pinhole photography, we're not going to be using the lens on the camera. That's the whole point of the assignment. So I'm going to take the lens off. There's a lens release button on the side here. You'll know that from your worksheet. So I can release and let the lens off. Don't leave the lens off uh, or don't leave a camera body without something protecting the sensor. Okay? Because this whole time now dust can get in there. We can just put the body cap on. I've already made the, uh, the pinhole uh, for the front. And now it's just a matter then of the, uh, the actual settings on the camera. So for the settings on the camera, let me move this over a bit, we're going to be using something called AV mode on the camera, or aperture value. Okay? This means that the camera will be in semi-automatic mode. The camera will determine what the length of the exposure should be. Okay? If you want to make it brighter or darker, you can still do that, but it'll make your lives just a little bit easier in taking the picture. So I'll leave it on AV for aperture value. And the only other adjustment I want to, may want to make here is to the ISO. ISO refers to how sensitive the, the sensor is to light. Higher ISO number, more sensitive. Okay? Higher ISO number means you can take picture in lower light, but the picture might be a little bit more noisy or grainy looking. For a pinhole, I don't think it's really an issue. The images are kind of blurry and grainy to begin with. So I'm going to turn the camera on, press the ISO button, and I'm going to change the ISO to something quite high. In this case, I'll leave it at about 800. You may even want to try 1600. Okay. And if I want to try an exposure here just to see how the uh, camera's working, okay. again, it's, you're not going to be able to look through the viewfinder of the camera to see anything. So you're going to have to uh, just eyeball and try and get a sense of which direction the camera's looking in. I'll make sure it's level. And then to try taking a picture, I'll press the shutter release. Now the shutter is going to stay open for quite some time. Here's the release. That was fairly short there. But I'm looking at my image on the back of the screen now. And that's the great thing about digital pinhole is I get a, an immediate preview. The image is too dark. So I'm going to use the exposure compensation buttons. And don't worry, you'll get a good close-up look at this. But here's exposure compensation. I can hold this button down and spin the dial on the top and that will allow me right here to overexpose or underexpose the image. So in this case my image was too dark, I'm going to plus two, I'm going to overexpose the image to make it brighter. Okay, Here I'll try it again. A longer exposure and it is much brighter. Okay, I may want to recompose then. If I still find it's a little bit uh, uh, too bright or too dark. I may want to change lighting conditions. Okay. Shooting pinhole uh, outside will work quite well. Okay. Inside your exposures are going to be uh, much longer.